going to talk a little bit more about names today. Travi, Amy, I'd like, oh, Travi, give me, um, give me, uh, no, 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 I don't want the bobby pin. Give me, give me, give me, give me, uh, no, I don't want the stone. Give me, oh, give me, give me, no, oh, no, I don't want that. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. Uh, Why didn't you give this to me first? You didn't say its name? Yeah. If I had said to you, give me the lemon, that would have been so super easy, wouldn't yep. it? If I had used its name. Can you give me a cokey? Can you give me a train? Can you give me a stone? Can you give me a ball of wool? Amy, can you give me a pig? Travi, can you give me a bobby pin? When I used the names, it was really easy for them to give me what I wanted. Now let's think about naming words. We know that naming words tell us the name of something. Do you know there's another name for that? And the naming word is called a noun. This is how we write the word noun. Noun, you won't believe, comes from the Latin word nomen, which means name. A noun is a naming word. It tells us the name of something. You get many kinds of nouns and we're going to explore those later. But I'd like to show you the symbol of the noun. In Montessori, we use this three-dimensional shape. This is a square-based pyramid. And the reason we use the square-based pyramid is because pyramids are really old, as are nouns. Nouns may have been one of the first words people spoke. They needed to name things. So we use the pyramid to symbolize how ancient nouns are. We also use the color black because black reminds us of coal. And coal is one of the most ancient fossil fuels that we can find. Coal is buried deep down in the ground. A relic of the dinosaur times during the Mesozoic era. So we use the black 3D pyramid to represent the noun. The noun is solid. The noun is matter. The noun has the power to name everything. The noun is one of the human's favorite things. When we work with nouns on paper, it's really hard to draw a three-dimensional shape. So what we do is we just take one side of the noun and we use the black triangle. I would like you to go and see if I'm telling the truth. Does everything really have a name? I'd like you to find ten things in your home that has a name and write those names down and draw little pictures of them. Then I would like you to see if you can find ten things that don't have names. Good luck.